All right, guys, we're back. Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas. No, it's been a while. You know, get busy during the holidays and all that stuff. But hit the expo today and picked up some new stuff. And uh, this is the Goliath Bird Eater, the T Sturmy. This is the smaller of the two I got today. So we're going to rehouse this. The other, I'm going to pick up another tank tomorrow, something a little bigger, because it is a bigger specimen. Uh, so. Just do a quick little video of this rehousing, and then tomorrow we'll rehouse the rest of the stuff. We got centipedes, uh, king baboon, stuff like that. So we'll do that tomorrow. But for now, we're just gonna get this new Goliath in its new home and out of this plastic container from the expo. She's not bad, she's probably about five inches, you know, diagonal leg span. Seems pretty calm so far. Let's see what happens when we uh, try to touch her. Yeah, she don't like that. Or he. Come on. It's okay. We're just trying to get you into your new home. It's okay. Yeah, she don't want to be bothered. He don't want to be bothered. They didn't know if it was a male, female. So we're going to have to wait till the next molt and figure that out. But before we do that, we need to get it out of this plastic enclosure. There you go. Come on. There we go. she is or he doesn't seem too far from molting so I guess as soon as that happens we will figure out what sex it is all right see you tomorrow all right and here we have the second T Sturmy this is the male um, this is the confirmed male he's a little bit bigger so we went and got a 20 long tank today 20 gallon long something so he's got a little more room um, something to where the hide is over in the corner where you see and he still has all this open floor space he can walk around or whatever um, I ran out of cocoa fiber and potting soil so I'm going to actually make this a lot deeper but I had to order more I didn't realize that I only had one bag left when I went to the store today so I didn't want to keep him in that little tub, whatever you want to call that. So I pulled him out and I'm getting ready to put him in here. Just opening the lid, he doesn't seem very happy. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if that light helps you see any better. I think it does. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I'll find something a little longer than my little paintbrush. Give me a second. All right. Let me get my lid close by, just in case, because we don't know his attitude or what he wants to do. I'm sure he wants out of this tub. Yeah, he's not happy. You'd think that they would want to get out of these little tubs, but I guess when they're put in it, it's their territory and 
us coming into it is you know basically coming into their territory and they don't like it too much so you don't want to stress them out too much it's probably been stressed out enough come on buddy just go forward there you go there you go There you go. Look, now I get this. There you go. Oh boy. There you go. No, no, no. There you go. See? Close up of the big guy. Munching on his roach. Hopefully he'll have a happier, better life here than he did wherever he came from. But we got some more rehouses to do. Got a couple more projects that I want to do. So, we'll call it a night for a night. Just got done watching them Eagles kick them Patriots ass. I am no way an Eagles fan, but tonight I was a fan. If anybody was going to take down them Patriots, I'm tired of seeing that. Check you out tomorrow. All right, I'm also going to try and rehouse these uh, Arizona Bark Scorpions. They've been in this little critter keeper since I uh, brought them home. But I uh, wanted to do something a little different and give them a bigger enclosure. There was originally five, but they killed the one. So let's try and do this without uh, getting stung. They are the most potent scorpion in the United States. So... I am obviously not going to be touching that. There's one right there. That's one. Let's see if we can get that. Fast little, little things. Put that little piece of cork bark in there. There's two. Get that out of the way. There's three. Um, he is not happy. One more. And there we have the fourth one. This is not one of the uh, scorpions that you really want to get stung by. Not that it's going to kill you or anything, but uh. 
does have the highest potency venom and they are quick to want to sting so I think this is overall a better enclosure for them and you know they're not that big so I think this is plenty of space for them I put some cork bark in there a little vine uh, the little smaller pieces of cork bark for them to hide underneath because these Asian bark or the Arizona bark scorpions they like to climb they don't really burrow or anything like the other scorpions uh, they will hide under stuff occasionally but most of the time they like to hide that's why I got that piece of cork bark back there so they can climb that and also behind it it's like a half log so they can go behind that and do whatever they want hide Put that plant in there. Let's tuck this down. Just give them something else to climb on, hide around. Right. They're cool to watch, they're always active. Give it a second, see if it takes down that uh, mealworm. Now, nah, with them being rehoused, I don't think they really want to be bothered. Two are back over there. I don't know if you can really they're right underneath of there. And that fourth one's straight down next to the water bowl. But they're pretty cool, so it's one less thing. It's gotta be rehoused. We'll do some more tomorrow. Alright, so some of you guys might have seen I got some uh, Jackson Chameleons from the Expo. I got a pair of those. I got a male and a female. This is my first time ever having them. There's a female up there, all camouflaged. And the male's back there. I threw them in this just for a temporary enclosure to give them something to get them out of the container that I brought them home in while I was getting theirs ready. So. Um, I just finished up theirs and we're gonna rehouse them and let's see how they like that but uh this is the mint leg centipedes house see some beetles in there it's all bioactive there's isopods springtails these beetles and in there is the blue leg beauty she rarely ever comes out. And then, uh, we got the T Sturmy. And we 
got the other tea stirmy. It's chilling in its water bowl. This guy. Look at them fangs. Look at them. All right, anyway, let's get down to business. All right, so this is the enclosure that I'm going to set these guys up in for now. Um, they're, they're both pretty small, so we're gonna put them inside this. I just did this. Someone said that their stress levels can get really high, so I went with a tinted glass for this and then you know just like all my other enclosures we got the acrylic hinges I got an acrylic handle up here and we got this so this will be their enclosure you got the vents up there and I got the locking hasps clear acrylic handle clear acrylic hinges water bowl all live plants the only thing that's not live is this vine because I wouldn't even know where to get a safe vine that's alive for these guys but figure this will give them something till they get a little bit bigger till I can build them a bigger enclosure I figure this will be pretty cool for them. Oh, we got a centipede. Still got to rehouse that and the vinegar runes. But that's going to be another video I expected to uh, get done a little earlier today, but that didn't happen. Got stuck at work later than I expected, but I wanted to get this done at least so I could get these chameleons out of their enclosure that they're in and into here so let's set this down for a minute while I get them out but before I get them this is pretty cool um, you change the lights greens pretty cool if you can see it from that view but you can do reds green blue orange all different kinds of stuff it's just different ideas I have for my enclosures you know I like to come up with different things I like the green and the white. We'll, we'll leave it on the white light while we're doing this so we can see what's going on with them. All right, let's get these guys out. Like I said, they're pretty small. Let's see. Is he going to go up there on his own? He wants to check it out. There you go, bud. Check out your new place. Let's get your wifey. Let's get her. There you go, Mama. That's okay. No, don't go out of the cage. There's nothing out there for you. You gotta go in, babe. See? Go check it out. There you go. I don't know how they'll like it. You know, like I said, this is my first time with the Jackson Chameleons. I've always wanted to get a set ever since I was a kid. And, you know, 
I've always had the opportunity to get them since, but just never have. When I was at the expo Saturday, my daughter liked them, so that was kind of the deciding factor that we were coming home with a set of Jacksons, along with all the other stuff we came home with. These guys are pretty cool looking. Then the bottom of the cage will have a heat pad on it and the back of it will have a heat pad on it. That is all great stuff background that I made myself. Um, there's a how-to video on that. It's just great stuff and then you shape it with a rasp. Well, I shape it with a rasp. I found that's the easiest way. A lot of people are doing their razors and all kinds of stuff. The rasp, you know, you get to do however you want. Then I put the real plant in there and the substrate is potting soil and cocoa fiber so that way I could plant the real plants and when I put the great stuff in I recessed the potting plants or the potting plant cups into the great stuff so that way once it was all hardened and everything you could go back and plant plants inside it that's why you're able to see all the plants and stuff inside I got carried away with talking. I didn't even notice that they were moving. But. Oh. There you go. So hopefully they like this a lot better than wherever they came from and the temporary enclosure that I had them in. But I guess we shall find out. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this up here and then tomorrow I will do the video for the enclosure of the vinegaroons and the new Scolopendra poly polymorpha, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So we'll build the enclosures for those, and we'll do a video on that tomorrow. But, all right, catch you then. See ya.